Anatomy and types of neurons Throughout our body, messages are transmitted in the form of electrical impulses. The cells that are responsible for processing and carrying these impulses are called neurons. The electrical charge is caused by chemical charges around the neural cell. Based on their function, there are three types of neurons. Sensory, motor, and relay, which is also known as intermediate. All three are present in the human body. Anatomy of neurons. Some common structures that are present in all neurons. These are cell body or soma, dendrite, and axon. The cell body is like a regular animal cell with a nucleus and cytoplasm. Dendrites are branch-like and function to receive the electrical impulses, while the axons send them away to the next neuron. All impulses travel in one direction only. A fatty, multi-layered wrapping called myelin sheath covers the axon region in some neurons, such as sensory and motor. Myelin acts as an insulator. The periodic gap in the insulating sheath, called nodes of Ranvier, speeds up nerve impulses. Now, we will discuss the functions of the three types of neurons. Sensory neurons. Sensory neurons are nerve cells responsible for converting a specific stimulus from the internal and external environment into the internal electrical impulses within the nervous system. It then transmits the impulses to the central nervous system. Structurally, they have long dendrites and short axons. Their distinctive feature is that their cell bodies are bulging out of the neuron. Relay neuron. Relay, or intermediate neurons, link sensory and motor neurons so that the impulse moves uninterruptedly. They are present in the brain and spinal cord regions of our body and do not contain myelin sheath. Motor neurons. Motor neurons, as the name suggests, take care of our motor skills. They transmit messages from the central nervous system to effector organs. Effector organs are any muscle, organ, gland, etc that can produce a response to a detected stimulus from a nerve. For example, leg muscle. Structurally, they have short dendrites and long axons. These long axons branch repeatedly in the muscle, 